Nicole. Let's get right to the task at hand. You have a new track for subtropical storm Nicole. Yeah, not a whole lot has changed. However, the track has shifted a little bit to the north a little bit more. So here's a look, a look at the latest track on subtropical storm Nicole. It still has winds of 45 miles per hour. It's moving northwest at eight miles per hour and it will strengthen into a, a strong category or a category one storm uh, winds of 75 miles per hour as it moves towards the Florida Peninsula. Landfall expected anywhere from West Palm all the way north up into the Space Coast, and then it will start to move up to the north by early Thursday morning. Friday morning, it's somewhere around the Jacksonville area. Landfall still expected anytime from Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So you have today to get those last minute storm preps in order before the storm's arrival. Now tomorrow morning we could start to see tropical storm conditions as early as 5 a.m. That's why today is your day to do those last minute storm preps because let me tell you, you do not want to be out there in 40 mile per hour plus winds trying to, you know, trim those trees and things like that. So here's a look at the wind field again. Tropical storm conditions winds over 40 miles per hour expected as early as tomorrow morning, maybe even hurricane force winds by early Thursday morning, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then as the system starts to pull away by Thursday afternoon, we'll see the threat for tropical storm conditions go down. Now it's still going to be windy Thursday afternoon, but we're not expecting those very strong winds like what we're going to start to see tomorrow morning through about early Thursday morning. Tropical storm warnings issued for the entire viewing area. Now we also have a storm surge warning and a hurricane watch issued for most of the the viewing area aside from Okeechobee County, which is under a tropical storm watch. A few isolated showers already starting to push into the area, but I think the first part of the day doesn't look all that bad. We'll see a couple of showers move in, winds picking up, but Mike, it's really not until this evening that we start to see those showers and storms roll in.